technical apparatus to enhance the peace, the pace of socio-economic development in the country through appropriate technology inputs into productive activities. Further notes that the Institute has over the years maintained a good record of project and program delivery, especially with regards to our core mandates working harmoniously with the supervising ministry, the ministry, the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology. Aware that the Federal Government through the Honorable Minister of Science and Technology in its letter dated 17th November 2020, reference number FMST stroke PARA stroke 110 stroke S.1 stroke 111 stroke T, suspended the Director General slash CEO who is the Secretary of the Board and the Chairman, Proda Governing Board, Comrade Onje Daniel. Aware that some serious management problems have emerged consequent to the suspension, which has further degenerated to deception and fraud in the 2020 procurement process, indiscriminate suspension of officers, and unprofessional victimization and conduct. Further aware that in flagrant abuse of the Procurement Act 2007, the new product management within two months went into contract cancellation and re-award of same without BPP approval in contradiction of an already concluded 2020 procurement process where various contractors have executed their contracts and are yet to be paid due to the same unresolved management brouhaha. Worried that the contractors who are citizens of the nation, who may have borrowed money to execute slash conclude their jobs, may be subject to financial pressures and untold hardship if PRODA continues to withhold their payments. Further worried that if an urgent action is not taken to resolve the issue in Project Development Institute, Proda Enugu, it may degenerate into breakdown of law and order. The House resolves to, one, mandate the House Committee on Public Procurement to investigate these serious allegations by inviting the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the Director General of BPP, and Proda Management to appear before the committee and report back to the House within seven days. Two, mandate the Project, project Development Institute Proda, Enugu, to stop all further procurement activities on the 2020 budget and pay contractors and suppliers and consultants who have executed their contracts allocated to them without further delay. I so move. Thank you. In Henry Walba, Mbitoli Kedru Federal Constituency of Imo State. Well, Mr. Speaker, it is an investigative motion. Essentially, this motion points to the fact that in the 2020 procurement process, there have been serious uh, anomalies in some MBAs, and it's leading to a lot of discomfort by Nigerians who are playing in that space of contracts. What we have seen are allegations and counter-allegations bordering on management, uh, rascality, the way projects have been awarded, victimization of staff in PRODA, and this motion is essentially to bring all the parties to the table with a view to resolving before the end of the 2020 capital extension, which is uh, March the 31st. I would submit that we allow this uh, motion to go to the relevant committee, the Committee on uh, Public Procurement, to do a detailed job. And as we prayed in the motion, hopefully within seven days, they get back to us with a position. Thank you very much once again, my dear colleagues. Thank you. To my attention uh, for some time now, uh, the strange procedure that has been adopted at PRODA and um, the did you, did you, what, what was your prayer? What committee? So, um, Committee on Public Procurement, right? Yes. Uh, so this matter is referred to the Committee on Public Procurement and to be, 
Did you say 14 days? Seven days. Okay. Yeah, so we put the question. Those in support, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Aye, Zabi. Right, 